Hey, what's up guys? Coffee with Rob. Sitting here on my stoop, watching the traffic during lockdown. Today I'm going to talk to you about home buyer mistakes. And I'm going to give you five tips on the mistakes you make when buying a home. Normally first time home buyers, but everybody makes these mistakes. So uh, without further ado, Rob Guilty, Rob Guilty channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Visit the blog below. What's the first mistake we always make? We forget the costs. We all make mistakes. I've made these mistakes. So, yeah, I'm here in lockdown. I'm watching all the traffic go by thinking, <laughs> where's the lockdown? But anyway, sitting on my stoop, enjoying this, but let's get on with it. So as I was saying, first mistake we always make is the cost. We go out there, we buy our house and we think, oh, fantastic, we've got our home. That's absolutely brilliant. And um, what do we find out? We get to the conveyancer and we do all the paperwork and they say here's an account. <laughs> we forget that we've got transfer costs, we've got costs for the attorney conveyancer and we've got costs for the loan, the bond account. You've actually got to pay costs on your bond account fees and all that as well. This can be quite a shock to someone. I remember when I was 21 I was buying my first house and I was all excited and I'd sign, I was going to sign, I was going to get my stuff and whatnot. And the conveyancer called me in and I sat down and was signing the paperwork and it's all good. And she turned around and said, well, here's the account. And I was, my heart sank to my feet. I was like, what are you talking about account? She says to me, well, you don't think we work for free, do you? I was like, well, now that you th talk about it, you know, now that you mention it, <laughs> I thought maybe you did. Yeah, so I got an account. Luckily, I had some money lying under the bed and I was able to pay for it, but most people don't. And you've got to understand that the costs don't come from loans. You can't loan the costs. The costs have to come out of your bank account. So bear that in mind. That's mistake number one. Always remember to have the costs available to pay for your home. Okay, so what's mistake number two? What do we do next? Well, mistake number two is we go in thinking that we can afford this much when actually we can't we can only afford this much so we're off to buy our three million rand house two dollars fifty all right just kidding it's about two hundred thousand dollars <laughs> but anyway we're out there we're off to spend and we we see this beautiful home put the offer in three million rand and this is our home bank turns around when you apply for the loan and they say mm -mm -mm -mm, sorry dude you only qualify for about 2.2 million. You're like, what? But I own this much and I got this much and I should. Be. No. So, mistake number two. You should first go and make sure of how much of a loan you can get. How much can you really afford? How much of a deposit have you got? How much costs have you got in the bank? And how much of a loan can you get for that property? Then you can put a proper budget on what you're looking for. Okay. So that's quite important. Next thing we do is uh, what's mistake number three? <laughs> we fall in love with the house. We fall in love with the house, not the block. Okay. So what I'm saying here is you want a house in Poshville. Okay. You're looking for the house in Poshville and you think, well, this is where I'm going to get my house. And the estate agent convinces you to have a look at a house in Scumville down the road. So you think, well, I'll go and have a look at this house in Scumville. And the house in Scumville suits all your needs. It's the most beautiful house you've ever seen. So you think, oh, I need to buy this house because you've fallen in love with this house. You've just been convinced to go to Scumville and buy a house. You're going to have buyer's remorse when you meet your neighbors and you find out they're all like throwing beer bottles at each other and selling drugs in front of your house because there's always someone that's overcapitalized in a shit area. <laughs> okay, so be careful of being dragged away from Poshville, the place you want to stay. Fall in love with the location and find the house to suit the location. 
right? Don't just rush off to Scumville and buy whatever's available there because it's never going to gain value. It's going to be worthless and you're going to hate living there and you're going to hate your neighbors. And it doesn't suit your needs. You want to go and live in Poshville. That's where you want to be. Okay. Next mistake we make. What's this? Mistake number four. Okay. Is we don't have a cash offer for the buyer. And the seller, sorry. Okay, so we don't have a cash offer. No, you don't have cash. You're going to get a loan. But go and get pre-qualified. Go to a bond originator, get yourself pre-qualified. And it's just like having cash, right? So you've got cash in the bank. So you can now go to them and say, I'm pre-qualified. I've got this amount of money and I'm putting this, this offer in on this property. Because I cannot believe the traffic out here. I mean, it's, it's locked down. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, sitting on my stoop watching like a highway go past here, it's unbelievable. Anyway, as I was saying, so now you've got cash because if you don't have this, if you have to now go and put your application in for the first time, it could take a month, it could take even longer than a month. And in your contract, they've got what we call the three day clause, the 72 hour clause, which says if somebody else comes along with cash, they can put you to terms. And if you don't have the money within three days, they can have the house. Okay, so that's another mistake we make. We don't get ourselves pre-qualified. We think, ah, I'll do that when I'm ready. Do it now. Get qualified with the banks. Get sorted out. That way you've got a certificate, you've got cash, and you can actually buy whatever you want. Make sure, right? And then the other mistake is, you know, we, we start searching and searching and searching for the perfect house. If you want a house that suits 100% of your needs, and even then you won't get it 100% of your needs, go and build it, okay? Look for a property in Poshville, in the right location, that suits about 80% of your needs, okay? If there's something wrong with the floor, fix it. If there's like one thing wrong, maybe the kitchen tops don't suit or the color of the walls, fix it, okay? You can afford to do that. That said, if the house only suits 60% of your needs, it's probably gonna cost you too much money to fix it up, so don't go there. If you find a house that suits 90% of your needs, you probably built it. <laughs> Look for something that's kinda within that 80% range, it suits your needs, it's kinda 80% there, it's almost ready, okay? And then you'll find the house you're looking for. You can put a bit of money into it, you can fix it up, you can do whatever. But uh, don't try and look for that perfect home. You're not going to find it. So anyway, those are your five tips. Those are the five buying a home mistakes that everyone makes. Now I'm going to leave a link in the description box below. Which effectively will send you to my buying a home step by step uh, 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 series. Really great. So if you need something like that, it's fantastic. And I explain step by step. There's like 10 steps there on how to buy a home and what to do contracts and all the rest of it go and have a look at that it might suit your needs Thanks for watching that video and hey don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like my facebook page and follow me on instagram and the reason i ask you guys to do that is so that you can get the content first especially if there's a video tour of a new home coming out or if there's some interesting content that you need to see you get it first and i believe if you click the little bell down there whatever the case that also gets it out there and uh, it reminds you when the videos come up so yeah, thanks for watching and cheers. See you next time.